Now this is the Ambitful A2 light stick. Now if you like the Ambitful A1, you will definitely like this one too. So prepare to get taste. Mabuhay and what is up tasters? Welcome to Taste or the Art of Sir Eden. If you are new to this channel and you're kind of interested in these kind of contents, be sure to subscribe and tap that bell there so you get notified whenever I uploaded a new video. And to all of my current subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, you guys are awesome. And don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok for more videos, updates, and tips. All right, before anything else, I would like to thank Ambitful for sending me another two of their products to review. Just to be clear, I am not paid to do this video, so what I'm about to share is based on my own thoughts about their product. Now that I got that out of my system, let's do a quick unboxing. So here is the box of the Ambitful A2 RGB LED light stick. It has main features such as creative light effects, app control, and 8 watt power. It also has a 96 CRI 97 TLCI with built in lithium battery of 2500. Upon opening the box, you will get a USB Type A to Type C for charging and firmware update, a warranty card, an instruction manual, a silica gel with this tiny certificate, and of course, the A2 RGB light stick itself that is covered in plastic. And that's it. The build quality feels solid and premium. The plastic body feels sturdy. It has a quarter inch screw on both ends. This part looks thick, definitely capable of protecting and diffusing the lights. For this part, we got here an on and off button with the USB Type-C port, set, plus, select, and minus button, and the LED screen. Also, this part has magnets inside it for mounting. Now for the features and functions, based on my observation, this has the same functionality and features as the Ambitful A1. In fact, I believe that they have almost the same firmware. Now to turn this on, press the on and off button for 3 seconds and the Ambitful logo appears with the firmware version. Now I already tested it before recording this video, so basically it remembers the last setting I used. For the CCT mode, you can adjust the intensity from 0 to 100 increments and the Kelvin from 2500K tungsten to 8500K daylight. You can also adjust the red from 0 to negative 10 and green from 0 to positive 10. Let's press the set button and now here is the HSL mode. You can adjust the intensity from 0 to 100 increments and select from 0 to 360 degrees color range and also you can adjust the luminance from 0 to 100 increments. Next is the RGBW. In here, we can freely select and combine the colors to achieve the look that we want with red, green, blue, white, and yellow. All can be adjusted from 0 to 100 increments. Next is the scene mode. In here, we can adjust the intensity from 0 to 100 increments. We can also adjust the speed of the effects from slow, normal, fast, and at the bottom is where we can select the scenes. Now, this has 29 light scene effects, but before that, let's connect this to the Ambitful app, assuming that you already downloaded it. Long press the set menu on the light, then choose the channel from 1 to 19, then group A to F, and then the magic happens. Now, I've already discussed all the features of this app on my review of the Ambitful A1, so you can check it out in the card up there. All right, so let's run through all of the light scenes. And as you can see, I've already connected both of these two to the Ambitful app using my iPad Pro. All right, so let's turn it on. As you can see, this is the first effect. This is the flash effect. But before that, I would just like to mention that the speed is set to slow. So let me show you the difference between the three settings. Normal mode and fast mode. And this is the slow mode. And I would just like to mention to you guys that the power is set 
to 100%. So this is blasting at full brightness. All right, so let's proceed to the effects. So here is the fireworks, the burst, the blink or the faulty bulb effect, the flame, paparazzi, TV, weld effect, curve, curve 2, curve 3, curve 4, CTC or CCT, the alarm or police light, the movie, the rainbow, the bar, birthday, fairy tale, grassland, surf, aurora, and here is the red, orange, yellow, green, Saiyan blue, blue, and purple. So basically these last seven colors are just pulsing lights. And that's it guys. Also since both of the Ambitful A2 and the A1 can be controlled with the Ambitful app, we can control all four of these simultaneously at the same time. And how awesome is that? Now, since the back part is magnetic, you can mount this on any flat metal surface, giving you more flexibility that will help you maximize your creativity on how you're going to use this light. You can also attach a handle grip just like this to avoid covering the light surface especially in situations that you'll need to use it handheld and of course you can mount this on any light stand or anything with the quarter inch screw and yes just like the ambitful a1 this is going to have a firmware update that is something to look forward in the future now, I also mentioned earlier that this almost has the same firmware as the Ambitful A1. And I said almost because the reverse charging or power bank mode and overheating was not included in the Ambitful A2. Mainly because the A2 has only 2500 milliamperes while the A1 has 3000 milliamperes of battery. Not much of a difference, I know. But to me, I think it's kind of weird to use this as a power bank because of the build unlike the a1 that really looks like a power bank to me also in terms of overheating i've been using these for hours like recording a video like this and previously i had a chance to shoot a music video indoor and many more and these two never gets hot like my A1 does, or even my K10 and the Atom Cube RX1, which I find really, really awesome. Now you can get the Ambifo A2 for around $40 on AliExpress. This may vary depending on the country you're at. Here in the Philippines, that's around 2,000 pesos, making it the most affordable RGB light stick in the market to date. Another thing that I would like to mention is that the build quality on this one is robust despite of the plastic body. And yes, I can prove it because I dropped it a couple of times. All right, all right. Maybe more than a couple. To be exact, from the table down to the tiled floor while it is mounted on a stand. But as you can see, the diffuser didn't crack just a few minimal dents on the body so this only proves that this is a quality product despite of its affordability and I would like to also add that I really like what Ambitful is trying to achieve starting from their A series of lights I can't wait for more of these lights that you can control with just one app these lights from Ambitful with mesh control and affordability is a force 
to reckon with. Now, to be honest, I didn't find anything to dislike about this slide. I just wish that the Unbitful will also produce a bigger and much more longer version of these two. Also, I wish that they can make an aftermarket accessory where we can attach multiple of these A2 lights vertically like this or can set up like this to make it longer and to have more variety on how you can set up these amazing lights. Overall, the Ambitful A2 is a fantastic product and I will definitely recommend this to all professionals, content creators, photographers, and aspiring cinematographers, especially if you're on a budget because this will definitely going to make your photos and videos more creative and more colorful. And that's it guys, I hope you find this video helpful. If you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing and tap that bell there so you get notified whenever I uploaded a new video. And again, Tasers, this is Taste or The Art of Sir Eden. Together, let's explore, learn, create, and share. See you on my next video. Taste Reviews, out. I've always dreamed to have a tube type RGB light like this. So when I'm bit more, when I'm more, I don't know.